All right, bear with me here. Uh, you're going to notice I did rage at my teammates this game, and for good reason. For starters, I start off with Doran's Blade on Nocturne. My runes and masteries are a mix, uh, are just mixed up because, like, I didn't have any specific runes set up for him. I'll explain it after. So, I don't like it that my teammates don't kind of just get a move on in the very beginning, and a team fight occurs, and Mordecai is who dies, and I have to flash away. Now, I know they're gonna see this is an advantage to take my blue, and I go around. I, t I ping to my teammate, and she goes off and dies. That's two kills for the enemy team. Now, Cho'Gath is gonna be a complete dumbass this game, and you'll notice. I start off with raids. No one had, you know, a conscious of mind of giving me a leash, so... Okay. I go... The best way to recover from being jungle screwed is, as a ganker, is to gank somebody successfully. So I go off and gank the Nidalee. Hit her with my spells, she gets dealt a lot of damage, and... Cho'Gath feral screams at her, which I would assume, like... Why the hell would you take that as Cho'Gath first, if you're not gonna team fight? I mean, even then, the rupture ends up being better, isn't it? I mean, does it not? So, they left a lizard at blue, and they left a small wolf at wolves. So, I'm a bit behind, and I'm getting pretty irritated by this. Make, make sure, hey, make note of this. I save smite. I save smite for the golems, because Nocturne destroys their rates. I don't need to waste it there. Now, like, I am pretty screwed. I got it. I just, the only thing I can do is take my small camp since Nidalee is a hard, you know, character to gank now that she's not level 1 and Chogath's pretty stupid, so, like, e even now this, look at his response. Ooh, I, like, he, he could have seen me coming. I even said, you know, in, in Skype, I, you know, I'm going to show up. But no, no, not at all. So back to jungling, I, I wanted my raids to be there since I didn't want to walk all the way back for wolves since my red was about to spawn. I buy another Doran's Blade and now I'm going to be level 6 after my blue. Two Doran's Blade in fact. I'm going to get uh, level 6 and I'll be able to gank finally uh, with some assistance. Urgot's going to you know grab Kog'Maw and drag his ass back and with that I'll be able just to pounce in and we'll get some distance on him. Lulu is doing her best to save Kog'Maw, and her ultimate's actually pretty deviant at help preventing ganks. So we get Kog'Maw, we almost get Lulu, but she burns her flash. So in this, uh, in this one, we, I lost some summoner spells, but they burned most of their summoner spells, and, and we still got a kill, so we're ahead. Cho'Gath dies at top because he's Cho'Gath, and he already turned out to be useless. And yeah, I'm pretty pissed, because I dislike it when, you know, a teammate is herpa derping. Going to gank Nidalee again, and he misses rupture. It's like misses rupture on a on a target that you know was feared. So yeah, is this? I know some of you are gonna probably say super crap, like oh crap, he's just p getting pissed at that Cho'Gath, but I had good reason. So now another gank at bottom. I jump at Lulu this time because she was the only one in range. Just she's easily eviscerated, and there's another kill for us. Kogma is away, like he's pretty hurt. So this gives us a chance to get. Or this gives us a chance to get us, you know, a dragon. Warwick is hanging about, and he's gonna eviscerate me. There's a massive amount of lag here because uh, Frap switched from recording a, from WMVs to uh, AVI files, and those those take up a whole lot more memory and space, and thus cause a lot more lag. I get killed off, and. Uh, I probably could have, you know, done a little bit better to survive, but this gives uh, the this gives what's his face Urgot two more kills, and yeah, Urgot's been receiving, you know, some more love ever since the Russians used him, and you, you used a build that's a lot more effective than what we're normally accustomed to using. So kudos to Urgot because he's always been one of my favorite characters to have because he's very helpful when it comes to ganking. I'm buying a Jan's belt. The intention for this is either Warmogs if I get more kills and get ahead, or a Frozen Mallet for damage and, you know, in control. I want to go, I think your blue is up, so I go off there and, you know, check it. Alas, it isn't, but it pops right back up, uh, just as I'm, uh, you know, getting the wolves. Now, Warwick showed himself bottom, so I'm not afraid of anything, but Ryze was missing, so before, you know, 
before I finished it off, I made sure to use my W just in case Ryze wanted to pop out and shoot at me. I tried to kink Nidalee, but yeah, she flashed. So flash for my ult is okay. I'm gonna donate my blue to Urgoth because you know there's we don't have an AP mid. Urgoth is all the way top. He's useless anyways. I don't want to give it to him. And now Urgoth with a blue is just devastating. So they jump the Mordekaiser. Urgoth comes to help, and you know I come in to assist as well. We get the Warwick. Uh, I probably should have focused uh, Ryza a bit more so he wouldn't finish off my teammate. Or I don't know. Oh no. Turns out Kogma did, my bad. I finish off Kogma, use Flash when my dub, when my E is up, not just Flash right off the bat. Because uh, I don't want to like miss my my fear with this crappy range now, or due to some crap. Like I've seen players, you know, Flash before they actually have anything else they can do. So they Flash, the enemy does something and prevents them from, you know, activating any abilities once it's off cooldown. So it's pretty much a waste. I use flash when I have my abilities up, so I don't, you know, waste time. So now Warwick is caught between four people. He's dead. Uh, I think you, if he had flash, I think he was gonna escape, but he tried to use line of sight to trick, uh, trick us into, you know, not getting him a, a couple times. Ergot left, but Ergot's not gonna let him live. Killing Warwick while he has his oracle is a big one for us. So he's about to drop. However, we don't want to engage right now. I don't know what uh, summoner spells or what stuff they have out, but Rise is just eviscerating us or exploding us. And we're if we're in a small corridor, he's probably just gonna rip us apart. We got a uh, Soraka with blue, so we, we're gonna use this chance to heal ourselves up. I was gonna go back, but you know, Kagma st stuck around and my ultimate just came up, so oh, this is an easy kill. So I grab Kagma. And Urgot comes in and just pelts him, you know, with a Q damage. Dead Kogma. And Lulu's just, you know, gonna be Lulu and escape. So there's some easy kills for us. Well, no, she's not gonna escape. We're gonna actually get her. And I was thinking of another event that was gonna happen soon. Okay, so now that's done, I build Warmarks because of my head, and I get a Berserker Screams because I want movement speed too, and I have no other options to build. I just want to take advantage of the fact that I'm kind of fed. Despite the fact that my team had a rough start in the beginning, we got a second dragon. And now all hell's breaking loose. Well, not all hell's breaking loose. My team is on the lead, so we're, we're breaking loose. Yeah. So my ultimate is about to be back up as well, though, despite the fact that a little replay doesn't show you that. Here we got Switch's Kogma, which I didn't think it was necessary, but okay. I pounce on Kogma, the tower is going to start focusing me right now after Soraka gets out of range. We kill Kogma, and then I just tank it while we destroy Lulu. Now Warwick's going to come in, and he's going to flash and then try to ult, but he fails because of that. Like, he didn't time, like, I either timed it better or he didn't time it well. Now this is a silly thing of me, I thought he was going to you know, use his ult on me, so I go back in to try to fear him, and I thought I'd get him to waste his ultimate, but oh well. Yeah, I, th I don't know if I did or if he used his ult and then scratched me. Doesn't matter, but I died and we won.